this is Joanne, and every once in a while I'm reminded that not everyone in the world is interested in science. Just last week I went to Chicago and I met with a fellow and he, he asked me, so what do you do? And I said, well I'm a bioengineering professor and my main purpose in my job is to train uh, students how to understand this field of tissue engineering, creating new tissues and organs for um, replacement as replacement body parts. So I give them the hands-on skills and the foundational information they need to know so that if they should ever go to a lab in the future, they will have these skills to use, which I personally think is very interesting. And But what happened was it would, he just had this blank expression on his face as if I had said the most uninteresting thing. So um, again, just a reminder, not everybody's interested in science. But I do happen to think that there are a lot of very bright people out there who aren't scientists who are interested in the science behind the headlines, the stories that you read in the newspaper or see on the nightly news, but you don't quite know all the science behind it. For about a decade, a gentleman named David Tenenbaum has run a website called The Y Files, and his goal is to do just that, to share the science behind the headlines. And what he has done is created a book, which is a compilation of the stories he has collected over the years, not surprisingly called The Y Files, The Science Behind the News, The Not for Nerds Guide to Human Brains, Animal Sex, Exploding Bugs, and Galactic Death Race, and so much more. Um, he has arranged this book, um, much like a newspaper where you know you have your headlines and you have your sports and your weather and your automotive section and the food and style and opinions. So, but all with scientific uh, information to go behind the various stories one might encounter in the newspaper. Um, it's also written on a newsprint with double columns, like you would see in newspaper. Um, he lists the location that these stories take place. Only thing not listed is the date. I don't like my science to be stale, so I do like to have a date when I read uh, science uh, information. But he's got uh, pictures with captions and uh, lots of fun things. This book um, is really great for sharing with others. Uh, the way I researched and read this book was to take it to a coffee shop and just sit with various people and discuss different stories that uh, in the book. And I even shared it with some children, found that maybe 10 years old is not quite old enough uh, yet, although there was really one really fun story about a dog who was a little perplexed at the behavior of these scientists in white coats and why couldn't they understand he had a much bigger vocabulary. And uh, a lot of the stories uh, were told in different voices and it's just a great uh, fun book, fun to share, fun to read in short little uh, snippets. Uh, each story is maybe about a page and a half long and covers all different fields of science. So this is actually a great summer book when you don't feel like taxing your brain, but you want to get a little dose of science in every now and again. So I am recommending the book, The Y Files. Share it with people who aren't in science and see if they can't be a little bit more interested in science every now and again. All right, thanks. Bye.